Imagine a world where the sounds of everyday life could be turned into a source of clean, renewable energy. Picture the gentle vibrations of sound waves, those invisible movements around us, being captured to power our homes, devices, and even entire cities. This isn't science fiction, it is the forefront of energy innovation. Welcome to the world of microsonic energy. As the world struggles with climate change and the urgent need for sustainable power sources, scientists and engineers are exploring new methods to create energy from unconventional sources. One of the most exciting areas of discovery is microsonic energy, a cutting-edge technology that uses sound waves to produce electricity. The idea of turning sound waves into a useful power source may seem futuristic, but it is backed by real science. By applying the principles of piezoelectricity, resonance, and efficient energy storage, a microsonic energy device can collect power from sound vibrations. In this hands-on guide, we will take you through the process of constructing your own microsonic energy device, demonstrating how this technology could change the way we think about energy. Before building your device, it is important to understand the key components that make up a microsonic energy system. These devices are designed to capture the energy found in sound waves, especially lower frequency sound waves, and transform it into electrical energy. Here is a closer look at the essential parts of such a device. At the core of a microsonic energy device is the piezoelectric transducer. This component is responsible for turning mechanical vibrations from sound waves into electrical energy. Piezoelectric materials, such as quartz or specialized ceramics, generate small electric charges when subjected to mechanical stress. When sound waves hit the transducer, it bends or vibrates, creating an electric charge that can be collected. The resonator chamber is designed to amplify the sound waves before they reach the piezoelectric transducer. It functions by trapping sound waves in a confined space, allowing them to vibrate at a specific frequency. This is essential because certain sound frequencies produce more energy than others. The chamber's design is a crucial factor in improving the device's efficiency. Once the transducer converts the sound waves into electricity, the energy must be stored for later use. The energy storage unit usually includes a rechargeable battery or capacitor, which holds the generated electrical energy. Depending on the size of the microsonic energy device, the storage unit can differ in capacity. This component controls the flow of electricity from the transducer to the storage unit. It regulates voltage and current to ensure efficient and safe energy storage. Power management circuits are vital for minimizing energy loss and keeping the device operating within optimal parameters. The different parts of the device must be enclosed in a sturdy protective casing. This housing protects the delicate internal components from damage and helps the device function in various environmental conditions. Depending on the design, this enclosure could be made of simple plastic or more advanced metal housing for improved protection and heat dissipation. Now that you understand the core components of a microsonic energy device, it is time to walk through the step-by-step -step process of building one. The following guide will take you through gathering materials, assembling the device, and testing it for functionality. The first step is to collect all necessary materials. Here is a list of items required piezoelectric transducers such as PZT or quartz crystals, a resonator chamber, which can be 3D printed or custom-made using plastic or metal, a rechargeable battery or capacitor for energy storage, power management circuit, voltage regulators, diodes, capacitors, etc., an amplifier circuit to strengthen the small electrical signal from the transducer, an enclosure, plastic or metal housing, wires, a soldering iron with solder for assembly, a sound source, such as a speaker or sound generator for testing, a multimeter to check electrical output, additional tools like a screwdriver, 3D printer, optional for creating a custom resonator chamber, heat shrink tubing or electrical tape for insulation, and a drill for making holes in the enclosure for wiring. The next step is assembling the resonator chamber. The chamber plays a critical role in amplifying sound waves. If constructing this part from scratch, you may want to design a chamber that resonates at the desired frequencies. For simplicity, starting with a pre-made tube or casing can be useful. The chamber's size and shape will depend on the frequency range you wish to capture. Lower frequency sounds, like those from industrial machines, may require a larger, longer chamber. Experimenting with different materials can also be helpful, as metal chambers may resonate better at certain frequencies, while plastic ones are easier to manipulate. 
Once the chamber is ready, the next step is securing the piezoelectric transducer. It should be mounted at a location within the chamber where sound waves will strike it most effectively. To get the best results, position the transducer at a point of maximum vibration within the resonating chamber, which can be determined through experimentation. After the resonator chamber is prepared, the next step is installing the power management circuit and storage unit. First, connect the piezoelectric transducer to the power management circuit. This circuit ensures that the energy generated by the transducer is properly regulated before being stored. The transducer's leads should be soldered to the circuit's input. A diode is necessary to prevent reverse current flow, and a capacitor helps smooth out voltage fluctuations. Next, install the energy storage unit by connecting the circuit's output to a rechargeable battery or capacitor. Ensure the storage component has enough capacity to hold the generated energy. A charging circuit may also be integrated to keep the battery charged efficiently. Once all core components are in place, the next step is enclosing the device. This will shield it from environmental factors while keeping internal parts secure. Place all components inside the enclosure, ensuring everything is fixed properly and wiring is neatly arranged to prevent short circuits. If needed, drill holes for external connections such as a charging port or output terminal. After everything is set, Close and seal the enclosure using screws or clips to keep it tightly secured. With the device fully assembled, it is time to test and optimize its functionality. Begin by powering it on and using a sound source, like a speaker or tuning fork, to generate sound waves near the resonator chamber. A multimeter can measure the voltage and current produced by the piezoelectric transducer. If the output is too low, adjustments may be needed such as fine-tuning the resonator chamber or repositioning the transducer. To maximize efficiency, experiment with different materials for the resonator chamber to find the most effective option. Adjust the transducer's placement to capture energy more effectively. Additionally, testing different sound frequencies can help determine which ones generate the most energy. Once the device is working optimally, further improvements can be made, such as refining the resonator chamber design or upgrading the power management circuit for better energy regulation. The applications of microsonic energy are vast. Currently, these devices can power small electronics, including LED lights, sensors, and wireless gadgets. By collecting low-frequency sounds from industrial machines, they could potentially generate enough energy to contribute to the electrical grid making them a promising option for renewable energy sources. Looking ahead, ongoing research in microsonic technology may lead to devices that are more efficient, capable of capturing a wider range of sound frequencies, and even scalable for powering larger systems. As advancements in materials and manufacturing continue, the potential for microsonic energy appears limitless. Though still in its early stages, microsonic energy holds incredible promise. By creating your own microsonic energy device, you are not just building a functional piece of technology, you are helping shape the future of clean, sustainable energy. Whether you are a hobbyist, student, or engineer, there is plenty of room for innovation and improvement in this exciting field. So gather your materials, start building, and become part of the microsonic energy revolution. Who knows? Your device could be the next major breakthrough in renewable energy. I've modified the wording slightly while keeping the script's meaning and length intact. Let me know if you'd like any further refinements.